everybody. It's Eric here from Lapfix. Got another video for you guys today. We're going to be talking about an issue with those people who do have a Dell laptop. And uh, it, this pretty much covers a lot of the models for the Dell laptop. It's a very similar situation that you actually might be seeing. Sometimes, if, you, if you'll see, there will actually be like a, a notification whenever you turn on the laptop. Let's actually open this up, just turn on and show you just the common thing that we actually do see. And we get this message whenever we plug it in. We see there's a warning message, alert the AC alert the AC power adapter wattage cannot be determined, the battery may not charge, system will adjust performance and match the power available. So the battery won't charge and we can only use our AC adapter. And we've seen this for a lot of Dell laptops, um, not just recently, but over time. We see that because there's, uh, there's problems with them, right? If we actually go to the BIOS here, we'll, we'll see that the AC adapter right there is unknown. If you go under like battery information, you can see this, this information. This is AC adapter unknown, the battery health is actually excellent. The battery is on idle and there's, there's like 5% battery left, so it's not actually taking a charge. And um, when you unplug it, you'll see that uh, the battery will actually be discharging. And the health is excellent again and the AC adapter is not installed. So um, now we're going to go ahead and try because that seems like that's an AC adapter because it's not being able to, to, to determine it. So we're going to actually go plug in a good one here and it's going to be doing the same thing, even though we switched out the AC adapter. We see that the AC adapter is unknown, held as, as excellent on the battery. I think we have like a 121 20 watt he one here, and that's actually charging it's like a gaming one, but it's doing the same thing. It's still having the same exact problem. No matter what you do, you swapped out the AC adapter. That's a, a typical thing that most people would be doing anyway, because it's showing that there's a problem with the AC adapter, so people will go ahead and buy an AC adapter and still have the same problem. Now, this one's a little bit interesting because there actually is a problem with their AC adapter in the first place, and now we're still having that same problem as well. So if we look here, uh, I, I don't know if I can show this under here. I might have to go in the microscope. But this is the original one, and it's, you can probably barely see it there. Uh, the pin is actually a little bit bent. Um, I'll go over the microscope just a little bit. I'll actually show you that one. The pin's actually bent on this one. So you think even just... Uh, so what that can mean is because it's not making a full contact uh, with the DC jack there, that's probably giving a problem. Like we're charging, it probably thinks that there is a problem um, with the AC adapter or there's another problem going on there. So it's not getting that the full contact there. So it's not going to charge the battery. It's going to protect itself and not uh, charge the battery and, and not do other things as well. So you, whenever you plug it in, it will at least uh, power on, but it won't charge the battery or do anything else there. So uh, we swapped it out, obviously, with a good one. We still have the same problem, even though we have a clear indication that there is a bad um, AC adapter there. Now, if you think about it too, um, if there's, if we did replace the AC adapter and we're still having a problem, especially if it's bent, it's a good indication to think, well, if it bent, that means shouldn't, there was a struggle, right? If something's bent, there's probably was a struggle putting, plugging it in because these are very, very smooth, right? You just plug them in and out. I'll use this instead. I want to keep putting the other one in, but you plug them in and out, in and out, in and out. It shouldn't really bend the pin unless you're probably plugging it in there and you're wiggling it or you're very, very aggressive with this and you're wiggling this a lot. So we're gonna be thinking that way, right? Think logically that way, that uh, since maybe there was a bit of a struggle on the AC adapter part, that there's probably gonna be damage, what, to this port here. And that's actually the case for it. So if I could show you there, you could probably see it, it's very little bit dark, um, but there is actually a little bit of damage chipped on each side to the DC jack. So good way to actually think about it was, um, so yeah, it's damaged on the DC jack. So let's actually go into the microscope. I can actually show you guys a lot better that way. I think that'll be a lot cleaner. Let's just uh, go ahead and look under there. So there's the port inside the laptop. Um, you can kind of look on the middle. So there should be a plug, right? Because there's a pin, there should be a plug that goes in the middle there. And that's there. But then there's also these little bit of chips on the side and it looks like some of the plastic actually got uh, a little bit damaged there. And you can see some of the metal is actually exposed. Um, how it should look like is if I bring this one here, it should look kind of probably more like this. I'm gonna show it as a comparison. But, uh, oh man, it's, the sun's right there, actually on the microscope. But uh, there, is that clear enough? I think it is for you guys. So you see how this one, this one does, you can still see it'll be a little bit exposed, but um, it's covered by uh, the plastic, which is acting as a protectant for it, right? So you're not making a metal metal contact. Um, uh, the, the indirect metal, you don't want that to be touching it as well. So this is how it actually should look like, and then this is how it is. So I'm gonna see if I can get it as close as I can. Where you got it there? Eh. See that? There's a difference. And so it does look like that the jack actually itself is damaged, right? And what we need to do most likely is just do a replacement on the jack there. Um, let's show you the guys the charger because you guys probably want to see the difference there. But it's the same idea. The pin is a little bit bent. 
there that's a good angle so it's just a little bit bent it's not too bad now we don't know if the damage um, is actually internal there or if this is very very loose if uh, most of the time you can just bend it back and it should actually be okay but um, in, in that worst case scenario you can just do replacement but we did try it with one that was working like this right so this is how it should be there I mean we can bend it back it's not really a problem you can just get a little tweezer there and then bend it back but um, yeah, that's usually the, the typical one. So we need to, what we need to be doing is um, obviously the, the AC adapter um, isn't so much of a problem because we can just probably just bend it back and should be okay. But we need to be a replacement for this, this jack in there. Because what can also happen too is, is not only does, um, does this part actually get damaged, that's, that's like physically damaged, right? Um, it can wiggle a little bit in here where this part where it's holding if, see how I'm wiggling this here? This is actually pretty stiff. This is actually a good sign that this is a healthy jack in there. If I plug it in here too, we don't know the extent of the damage here because I'm sure if this has been this chipped and this damaged, um, there's probably extra damage to it as well. This can cause another short in the back there and it can damage the charging circuit, especially if you're really not careful. If you keep touching the metal with the metal, if you use this over time, if you're really aggressive on it, it's going to give a big uh, clear damage. So you want to get this replaced as soon as you possibly can, especially if you see any little bit of damage, because this can only get worse and it can damage the circuit. So we need to replace this first, and then let's go ahead and test and see if it works. So most of these just have like a bomb cover. Now, all of them are obviously going to be different, but the idea is usually they just have a bomb cover. You pop it open, uh, and let's see what's going on. Now, we want to see where the jack is. The jack's over here. Obviously, you just want to always uh, disconnect the battery for it. It's not really a tutorial on <laughs> showing you guys how to do it, but it's just the same idea pretty much for all of them. It's the only one you're replacing. Both things are getting a board damage here. Now, we see that this one's actually under the hinge, and we want to make sure we be really careful, especially if we're going to be lifting this hinge up, especially when it's like this. Um, you can probably lift it a little bit. I don't like using my fingers here. I just like using the force right there. Lift this up. Now we know this is covered this way, right? And there's usually a screw that actually does go in here. And even doing like any type of replacement or something that um, uh, we see, obviously there's like a screw there, right? And that usually holds it in. A lot of times uh, this screw can actually break as well. And that's usually usually not just the screw that actually breaks off here, but usually this is attached to what? This is the top cover piece. And a lot of times it does break, even though it's held in by a screw because it's so very thin. And if uh, you see like this part usually breaks and that's why your jacks usually pretty much loose there is because the screw holders can break or also the part on the motherboard is because a lot of these are pretty cheap anyway a lot of these parts uh, can break off too so okay so what we're going to do now so we're just going to go ahead and test the theory make sure nothing else is going on so we have the new one in at least for right now and i'm just going to go have this lifted up here actually i should probably plug in something here right uh, 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 okay Let's actually go to the BIOS screen. Now we do see that it is charging and the health is excellent and it shows that it's a 130 watt uh, AC adapter. That's the gaming one I did have there. And so that looks to actually be pretty good. So that was a major problem with it. We can wait for it to go 4% or something just to be safe. I bet if I unplug it, it's gonna show a different one anyway. But let's give it a second. There's 4%. Okay, so it looks like it is going up. It is actually charging totally well. And that's usually the problem with that there. That's pretty much a common problem that you actually will see that um, for like a device, especially if it's plugged in, not charging, you'll probably see it a lot. Um, it doesn't necessarily always go for the Dell laptops. The Dell laptops are more like they, uh, if there's any problem at all, it just won't charge the battery. If there's any type of little inconsistency, either with a charger or with a DC jack, it just won't charge the battery whatsoever. Um, this is usually a pretty easy fix, especially if you see that there's a physical uh, damage to it there, just like this one. And then obviously there's a bent pin on the AC adapter as well. That would obviously do that. But a lot of the things, because it's telling you that there's a warning that's actually telling you to, that it's not detecting the AC adapter, it's kind of misleading for a lot of people that they are gonna go out and get an AC adapter and then they still have this problem. We've seen it even when there's no uh, damage as well, like no physical damage that we can obviously see um, uh, as well. And we still see that problem. Most of the time it is more of a DC jack. Or another good way to actually to, to test it too is if um, sometimes if you twist your uh, AC adapter there at the very end, and then you make a, a nice connection and it shows that it's charging, that usually means that there's still a problem with the jack itself. It won't be more of a problem with the AC adapter. If you twist it there, you'll notice it. Sometimes it'll charge, sometimes it'll discharge. And that's because the plastic piece inside here, you're twisting it, you're trying to make the contact be a little bit different. 
and it's going to make a contact in a certain way. So maybe the, the inside piece could be a little bit broken. Um, it could be a little bit loose there, and that's usually the case for them. But usually, the most of the time, this is actually the case for it. There's a very rare instance, but we have seen it as well, where um, uh, people do have a broken jack problem, and then they keep plugging in their AC adapter, and then they damage the AC adapter, or they damage the internal uh, charging circuit there, and we've seen actually blow up before. Man, if I have an image, I'll put it up there. I don't think I have it from before, but it was very interesting because that charging circuit, it still showed the same thing it was turning on, still showed the same thing. But um, we'll probably make a video about it whenever we see it again. Um, it doesn't happen too often because it's very rare. Usually, this is, that's the whole point of, uh, of Dell preventing this, especially if there's a bad AC adapter or there's a bad DC jack. So again, this is the, pretty much to fix the issue where whenever you see this uh, typical Dell issue where it's plugged in, not charging, or it gives the AC adapter warning whenever you do plug in your device. And you can only use it um, as you plug it in. But once you take it off, it's not actually going to charge the battery, and it usually shuts off. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on that typical Dell issue. If you did, if you did find this video informative, please leave a like. Really, this helps a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Um, stay tuned. We do lots of day recoveries, liquid spills, and all the other good stuff. So, hope you guys enjoy watching. Take care. Bye.